Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, the other day I got a um, Amazon gift card. And it kind of came to me through something at work. So I went on Amazon trying to see what I could get with it. And I came across these uh, Warlord Games German Pioneers. Which is basically, I believe they're engineers. Uh, it says World War II German Assault Engineers right there. So... Uh, they came in the mail yesterday, uh, so I thought I would kind of do an unboxing of them. I've already opened them, and I think it's a pretty good kit. I'm not exactly sure when this kit came out, but I'm assuming it was kind of in the uh, the second iteration of their box kits because it has the uh, it has the pre-assembled arms. And so, if you're familiar with uh, if you're familiar with a lot of the uh, War Games, Warlord Games box kits, the uh, original kit plastic ones came out with separate arms and weapons. Some of the later ones came out with the uh, pre-assembled arms. So first I'm just going to kind of show you what you get as I unbox this. Uh, now another way you can tell whether it's one of the uh, later kits or not is the uh, the bases. The ones that came out later have these ridges here. They kind of they have a depression in them, whereas the ones that were earlier were, were pretty much flat. So this is obviously one of the uh, later kits that they did, where they had to, after they had made some improvements as far as most people are concerned. So you get. Uh, four of these sprues and I think they're all pretty much the same sprue so if you kind of look at this guy here that'll kind of let you see that uh, you know it's the same sprue let me see if I can get a little close up on that okay so pretty much these are all the same you're gonna get the same sprues in here uh, and I'll go over the sprue in a second. Uh, now I like these. These are actually for like the bases for the uh, weapons. So if you have a MG you're setting up or a mortar or something, you can use those. Uh, I guess you could use them as horse bases in some other games too. You get some metal parts. Actually, I thought the box when I ordered it was metal, but these are plastic, which is actually pretty cool. But you get some metal parts here. So a quick review of what you get in metal. These are backpacks, which I'm assuming they're probably engineer specialized backpacks. So if you can get a good view of that, you get, I guess that's like your entrenching tool and it just looks like it's obviously a pack that has more than your regular soldiers would would be carrying especially the germans so and those are these are all kind of i think they're all identical packs although this one it looks like the tool is on the right side instead of the left that's interesting uh you get some uh specialized arms now these are worth looking at so let's see what we got here focus this a little get a little closer and see that'll focus so just while this is trying to focus this appears to be i think this guy is holding a captured russian submachine gun which is kind of interesting. This is not trying to focus for me. Let's try it like this. Alright, so on the right, you see the captured Russian submachine gun. The next weapon is, uh, I think that's an MP, MP40 or 44. Move the light. This appears to be a captured Pia. So all of these actually look like captured weapons. So this may be uh, 
a grease gun, an American grease gun that's been captured. That looks like a PF that's been captured. And he has wire cutters right there on the end. So those are some metal optional arms. Here's another set with a... Oh, this is this that looks like a captured Russian submachine gun. This looks like I think that's just a regular MP forty. And this is a I think just a regular K K A R. So that's another option. But he actually has little cutters, wire cutters right there, which you might not be able to make out. Oh, and then you get this, which is a metal detector, a mine detector. So, that's that's metal pack number one. Fifty pack. There's a second metal pack. Let's see what that comes with. Move this back a little. So, I mean, I don't even think you need the metals. Enough. Okay, it had another battery malfunction in the middle of filming that, but I actually was able to dismount my camera so we can get a better view. This is the second metal pack I had started on. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is this here, and this is a Panzer B39 anti tank rifle. But you don't see many of those. Actually, they say it was modified to fire grenades, like a grenade launcher. Uh, now, what this guy is holding, I don't know. It looks like a piece of metal. Maybe something to put into the tracks of a tank or a vehicle. Uh, I don't know. It could also be maybe used for laying across, uh, laying across uh, barbed wire. The other uh, sprue is, this looks like the, uh, I want to say this is like another flamethrower canister and flamethrower nozzle. And this is the uh, Flammenwerfer 35, at least that's what it says. Uh, this is the Goliath, which is basically an anti-tank or a uh, demolitions vehicle. <laughs> A remote controlled demolition vehicle. Uh, these are some of the uh, kits. So this guy's got like a bundle of grenades right there. That's this is uh, that holds your wire cutters, and then it just looks like you've got some uh, pouches. That looks like maybe some stick of plastic explosives in the far right. The next one is, well, it looks like this is the German engineer's pack. This is, looks like an engineer carrying, I want to say, they're not binoculars, maybe, that looks like the remote control to the Goliath, from what I see on the picture here. So that looks like that's that guy with the remote control to the Goliath. And this is a, again, that's a submachine gun. And again, I think it's a Russian one. So it does indicate in here that there is a, uh, in the box, I think it says you got some Russian submachine guns. I can tell you exactly what it says. It says the uh, PPSH SMG, and that's a Russian submachine gun. So I'm assuming that's what that is. Uh, next up are some extra arms again this guy is carrying and I don't know that could be uh, the line for for laying uh, like some mines and you have some uh, mines right there actually it looks like you know, any tank and any personnel mines so that's some extra right arms this is a body part of a guy basically laying down on his back to cut wire. He's laying on his backpack. So you see him here. This, that's his sprue. 
And then you have the heads, which I think are real cool. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of these in my kit because I'm thinking of saving some for some of my other German kits. Uh, just because I like I like the style of them with the camouflage and the other stuff tucked in their helmet. Those look nice. This one is real cool because you can see this guy here has this gas mask on. And then I think one of them is like got his face covered here. His face is covered because he's firing the flamethrower. As you can see him there. So that's to protect him from the heat. This guy, I'm assuming is he injured? So maybe he got injured. <laughs> Another guy has like some uh, headsets on or radio operator. Maybe the guy has that's the listening devices for the uh, the metal detector. Yeah, this guy here. So he has a uh, he has some listening devices on to see if he's you know picked up any mines. Okay. So that's all of the metal components you get with it. Let's take a quick look at the sprues. They're all the same, so obviously I'm only going to look at one. Uh, right there you get an array of arms. Uh, most of those are pretty, pretty self-explanatory. I don't know what this arm is here. I don't, I don't know if that's a knife he's holding or stick grenade it's kind of small to be one of the pineapple grenades again you get a couple of arms there ammo for the uh, I think it's an MG34 or whatever uh, this is the body poses I like the poses dudes running dudes laying on their back all of them are heavily equipped more backpacks more arms some more weapons that's the kar with a little uh scope on it some more arms and then finally you see the heads that come that come with these so these are basic your basic grenadier heads there's an officer, a guy with no helmet. So you could easily just use these heads and not use any other metal ones. Okay, sorry about that. I think I dropped my camera. But this that was just a quick unboxing of the German Pioneers by Warlord Games. Uh, definitely would recommend this if you want to add uh, some unique units uh, to your uh, your boat action German armies especially with the second edition coming out I think it'd be a great time to get a box like this uh, and add it to your collection all right talk to you later